Hi, Min. Good evening. How are you today? Oh, I'm fine. Yeah, sorry that teacher Anne was not able to be with you at 6 p.m. because the electricity is uh, is not working well. And then uh, I uh, actually I have uh, what's that? I have a problem also with uh, the connection of electricity in, in our area. So it has been fixed uh, like this afternoon, 1 p.m., I guess. So the, the, the electricity was, to, was totally shut down. Okay, so now, mean we will have to continue this. Let us move to pre-intermediate. Oh, wait a minute. I will show you mean. Okay. So let us now mean in writing rather than with speaking. So we have here different activity. I mean, different vocabulary. We have signature. Signature. Okay, your name as you usually write, for example, at the end of the letter. Notice to see or hear somebody something, to become aware of somebody or something. Notice. For example, I will give you notice for what will happen. Okay, that's notice. Okay, possession, it's job. Retail, it's the selling of goods to the public. Next, reliable, that can be trusted to do something well that you can rely on. Another, Available that you can get, buy, or find. Okay. Discuss, it means to talk about something with somebody. Discuss, it means to talk about something with somebody, especially in order to decide something. Manager, a person who is in charge of running a business, a shop, or a similar organization or part of one. Okay, to get something... Especially by making an effort. Opportunity, it's a time. Opportunity. Okay, the opportunity, it's a time when a particular situation makes it possible to do or achieve something. So I have the opportunity to work in the office. So I have that. So I have the time to work in the office. Possess, it means you will have to. What do you mean by the word possess? To have or own something. Okay, require, it means. To need something, to depend on somebody or something. Succeed it means to achieve something that you have been trying to do or to get, to have the result or effect that was intended. Now, here, mean you will have here the letter. Actually, this is the application for the role of sales assistant. So you read the letter, mean March elements A to G. With parts one to seven. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Please try to match the elements A to G with parts one to seven. Please mean answer. Minute mean.
Okay, so let us have here. So first is, you said letter C. Okay, so the manager, okay, the manager you said it's number two, Harley's department store, that is letter C. Okay, you said it's letter C teacher. Okay. Number one is the person the letter is going to hear, of course, the manager. And next one is the letter that the letter is going to address to. Okay, that's number two. Number three. Okay, what's number three? Number three is, where's number three here? The writer's address, letter A. The writer's address, letter C mean. Four. For the date, okay, four is the date, yeah. Four is letter D, the date. Five, letter G. Okay, letter G, the subject line. This is the subject line. So what do you want to, uh, to write or what did you write about? Okay, six is, okay, the writer's signature. The writer's signature number six. Yeah, of course, this one. And the last number, of course, it's letter B, the writer's name. A very easy mean. So it's only here, number two. Okay, Harley's departments, that number two, the address of the letter is going to. Okay, letter A. Okay, so now here in task two, complete the paragraph plan by matching paragraphs A to E, or oh, that's A to E, A, B, C, D, E, okay, E of the letter with the descriptions from one to five. So now it has, it is letter here, and this is the number. Please try to complete, okay, try to complete the paragraph plan by matching paragraphs A to E from one to five.
Okay. So where is number one mean? Okay, number one, paragraph D. Okay, what you are sending with the letter and when you can start work. Okay, number two is letter E. Okay, oh, sorry. This is letter E here. So letter E number two. Okay. Paragraph D is here. Paragraph E. Okay, so paragraph E, what would you like to happen next? Okay, so here, I look forward to hearing from you soon. So it means you were asking what will happen next. Okay, next, another one. Okay. Letter A. What the job is and how you found out about it. What the job is and how you find out about it. Letter A. Okay, I noticed your online advertisement for sales assistant during the summer and I'm writing to apply the post. Okay, very good. Okay, next number four, we have here very good mean. Letter B mean. In October, I am going to start a degree in design of Britain. Okay, very good mean. Okay, why you are interested in the job? Okay, because I am keen to find possession which suits my interest in fashion. Okay, very good. Five. Next is letter C. Why you are the right person for the job? Why you are the right person for the job? Okay, letter C. I have experience of working in retail. Last summer, I spent six weeks as a sales assistant in clothes shop. Furthermore, I believe I believe I possess all the necessary personal qualities for the post. I am hard working. So let us see why you are the right person. So it means in let us see you are trying to explain to them why you are suitable or why you are the uh, the most fitted person to have that job. Okay, so that's it. Okay, very good, man. Great job. Mukmin, very good. Okay, now, in which paragraph does Grace mention? Okay, here. So, her plans and intention, what are they? So, her personal, personal qualities, what are they? Okay, so, in which paragraph does Grace mention? So, Grace is trying to apply a job here. Application for the role of sales assistant, she's trying to apply for the job. So now, what is the job or what is the plans of Grace? Her plans and intentions, what are they? And what are her personal qualities? Okay, you can write it in.
She's going to apply for the work. Her intentions are find possession suits her interest in fashion. So that is, that is actually her intention. That's the reason why he will going to apply the rules assistant because he has the interest and he and she thought that this job will suit to, his inter, to her interest in the fashion industry. So, so next one, what are the personal qualities of Grace? Okay, so Grace is trying to enclose and trying to convince the manager that he is hardworking, honest, and reliable. I believe. Okay, I spent six weeks as a sales assistant in the clothing shop. Furthermore, I believe I possess all the necessary qualities, personal qualities for the post. I am hardworking, honest, and reliable. Okay, she's trying to convince, she's trying to tell the manager that she's honest, she's qualified and reliable to be the sales assistant. Very good, man. Okay, so next one. Okay, look at that. She's going to start degree in design of Britain and she's keen to find possession in fashion. That one, she's hardworking, honest, and reliable. Okay, so here, when you write a formal letter like this, you will always start with dear. Okay, you know the name. You can include dear sir or madam if you do not know. You can include a subject line at the start similar to the subject line of an email. So you will receive the subject line. Write in paragraphs. One sentence paragraph are fine for opening or closing an application letter. Do not use colloquial language or short forms. Okay, so like I'm there. So in a formal letter, you will not use that one. So please finish with yours sincerely. If you use the person's name at the start, yours faithfully if you did not know. Okay, so yours sincerely. Okay, that's finish with yours sincerely. Then do not try to use colloquial languages. Okay, so here. Now, answer the questions here. Of course, you can find the answer from the email or from the application letter sent by Grace. So we only have four. What is the subject line in Grace's letter? Or you can find it there.
the subject line is application for the role of sales assistant. Does Grace include any one sentence paragraph? Okay, yes, there is. Okay, and next one, number three. How does Grace express the things in more formal way? I really want, okay, number four. Why does Grace end the letter with yours faithfully? To show that she is faithful. Okay, of course, by, by, the, by the end of the letters, okay, so you will have to uh, emphasize that you are truly faithful with your application letter. Okay, so this one. So you read the online job advert below and plan an application letter. Follow the paragraph plan you completed in past two. Okay, paragraph a waiter in a hotel online advertisement. Okay, please. Number one, paragraph A, what the job is and how you find out about it. Okay, please try to enter number one, paragraph A, a waiter in a hotel online advertisement. Number two, why you are interested in the job. Please try to answer this one. This is summer jobs and catering. So you read the online job advert. This is an online job advert below and plan an application letter. Follow the paragraph and you complete it in pesto. So it means you will be making a short application letter based on this job advert. Okay. And you will follow this uh, activity. I mean, this guide, what the job is, why you're interested, why you are the right person for the job, why, what are you sending with the letter and when you can start work. So just only a short application letter mean. Let us see. So this is the last activity. I will wait you until you finish this one because it's already 9.41. Okay, teacher will wait this application letter. Let us see.
Okay, let me see. Okay, okay. So, the restaurant hotel, Bond Street, London, Clark's Hotel. Okay, so this center is for the manager. So, it should be the manager because you need someone, a person whom you will send your letter to. So, you will say, the manager, restaurant, hotel, Bond Street, London, Clark's Hotel. I am writing to you with regards to applying to the waitress role I saw in the summer job. Okay, in catering, with over five years of experience providing excellent service to diners at quality establishment. Okay, I know that I am strong candidate to fill out your team. While working as a waitress at the Long Horn Grill in Los Angeles, I learned that I learned the ins and out of the industry, including food handling, techniques, and how to take orders efficiently in a 120 plus seat restaurant. Okay, so wow, that's good. And don't forget, Min, you will have to write your okay, your sincerely. I am hoping, oh, you will express what you would like to happen next. So you would like to express here. So I hope I can hear. A positive response for you from you soon. Okay, so you are trying to tell what will happen next. So I am looking forward for a positive feedback soon. Okay, so and then your name, Mokmin, your surely Mokmin. Okay, that's it. And also don't forget, Min, you need to have here the person, the manager, the officer in charge. Okay, let it the manager if you don't know the name. Or the officer in charge, okay, or if you know the name, dear Mr. Clark, okay. So if you don't know the name, you can say that to whom it may concern. So it means to whom it may concern, this refers to the person who is in charge in that hiring process. Okay. So wow, thank you so much, Min. Very good. Okay. So Min, we don't have enough time today. So, teacher Anne will say goodbye now. Oh, it's quite a long day for us. Thank you so much for today, Min. And teacher will say goodbye. Bye, Min. See you. Bye, teacher. Oh, thank you so much.